Greetings everyone wherever you are watching from. The tribunal court may insist that Bola Ahmed Tinubu of APC or Progressives Congress presidential candidate has not built any water holding ground to nullify Mr. Obi's petition, judging from the Tinubu's counsel. The response from the defendant Bola Ahmed Tinubu was delayed about three weeks from the time the plaintiff, Mr. Obi, served his petition on Bola Ahmed Tinubu. In Mr. Obi's petition on Tinubu, he established profound grounds and the onus of legitimacy of his claims that the mandate belonging to him was stolen and given to the defendant by Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, whom Nigerians have lost interest in his rulership. The obese petition must have included that APC colluded with Mahmoud Yakubu, the INEC chieftain, in their predetermined resort before the elections actual date. And if you are the response from Bola Tinubu and the INEC is a mess, notwithstanding the longevity delayed. It was appalling hearing, and we definitely doubt the court will take Tinubu's cancer serious if they cannot walk back on their response before the court fireworks begin in a few more days. At first, Tinubu's request in his response, he urged the court to just dismiss Mr. Obi's petition, but have failed to establish the grounds of his request. This is truly a joke coming from a man who is not prepared to defend the mandate, agreeably bought with money. Second, Tinubu maintains that the petition served on him by Mr. Obi is without merit. Third, Tinubu is insisting that Mr. Obi joining Labour Party is illegal move, that leaving PDP early to the presidential primaries is unacceptable. And by the time Mr. Obi joined the Labour Party, his name was still in the PDP calendar of membership. It is unfortunate that the INEC chieftain Mahmoud Yakubu has joined force with Bola Tinubu because he knows that he will go down if Tinubu goes down. So Mahmoud Yakubu for sure is covering every hole with Tinubu Council to make sure that their backyard election practices is not exposed. And in the end, he still won the election. But something happened along the line. That APC, Tinubu, and the INEC immediately realized this. They realized their poor defend background and they began to urge the tribunal court to dismiss petition with substantial cause, as the same was devoid of any merit and founded on frivolity. APC asked election tribunal to dismiss OBLP's petition, gives reasons. The APC urged the tribunal to dismiss the petition with substantial cause, as the same was devoid of any merit and founded on frivolity. The All Progressives Congress APC on Monday asked the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, in Abuja to dismiss the petition filed by the Labour Party LP and its presidential candidate Peter Obi against emergence of Paula Tinubu as the president-elect in the 25th of February election. The APC default respondent urged the PEPC to reject the petition in its notice of preliminary objection marked CA slash PEPC slash O3 slash 2023 and the file at PEPC's secretariat Monday night by Thomas Ojo, a member of the party's legal team led by Latif Fabemi in Abuja. The party asked the tribunal to dismiss the petition with substantial cause on the grounds that it lacked merit and was the news agency of Nigeria NAN reports that Mr. Obi, the first petitioner, and the LP, the second petitioner, had sued the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Mr. Tinubu, Kashin Shetima, and the APC as first to fought respondents, respectively. The petitioners are seeking the nullification of the election victory of Masaya Tinubu and the Shetima in 25th February presidential poll. Nan reports that while former Vice President Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party PDP came second with 6,984,520 votes in the election, Mr. Obi came third with 6,101,533 votes. Atiku and the PDP are also challenging the outcome of the poll in the petition marked CA slash PEPC slash O3 slash 2023 filed by Mr. Obi and the LP's lead counsel, Levi Ozoku. They contended that Mr. Tinubu was not duly elected by majority of the lawful votes cast at the time of the election. 
The petitioners claimed there was rigging in 11 states, adding that they would demonstrate this in a declaration of results based on the uploaded results. Mr. Obi and the LP said INEC violated its own regulations when it announced the results despite the fact that the time of the announcement, the totality of the polling unit's results had yet to be fully scanned, uploaded and transmitted electronically as required by electoral acts. Among other prayers, the petitioners urged the tribunal to determine that at the time of the presidential election held on February 25, 2023, the second and the tenth respondent, Tinubu and Shetima, were not qualified to contest the election. Anthony Koo, reporter for Kibris Got Talent.